to start? Are we filming? All right, my name is Russ Madden, as you guys know, um, from Traverse City, originally from Detroit area. That's where I met Brian about a million years ago. Um, today I'm going to be tying some dry flies on a, a hook that uh, A-Rex has built for me, and it's a pretty interesting hook. It's actually like a designed for modern fly rods and strong tippets, so I kind of want to do a hex or two on these. And uh, I'll show you, first time I ever done dry flies for anybody, I never let this out. So it's only, I'm only doing it in Michigan too. So this will be a, a first for me, um, actually letting any of my dry flies into the world, aside from my boat and on my customer's rod. Uh, the ARX hook we're using today is a 570. I uh, designed this hook with an extra eye, with a little extra eye size. It goes down from a, from a four to a 14. So when you're fishing the Hendrickson's, you actually got a hook that might actually hold the fish and be able to pull a decent sized trout in, uh, especially on bigger tailwaters. So a lot of the guys got really good feedback on the smaller hooks so we can actually land some fish on our modern rods versus a TM Pro 100. Uh, so check them out, Air X 570. I'll do a hex here for you. Uh, it's one that I use pretty much a lot. Um, this is a scorpion style hex, which is going to be a Y wing with a little bit of an extended body. And I'll give you guys a couple tidbits on how to make this so it's not such a struggle. Get that thread on there. I'm just using six ot. You can use Vivas or Uni or whatever you want. You could use any color. There's no, you know, it's the middle of the night, so it probably doesn't matter a whole lot. First thing we need is a calf tail, and I like to break the bottom off. I like to break the whole stem off there, so I just crack that, crack that part off. Get a decent sized clump on there. And I'm gonna tie my wing in first because it's gonna be a point of reference. Just kind of clean up the bottom of it a little bit. Send it to the army so you get them all even. It's just easier to deal with later. This is going to be a basic Y style. I like my the hexes all pointing forward on my spinners, and then if I wake them or drag them or boondog them, it also helps with that. Boondogging is simply going down the river at night with your fly out in front of the vessel. Prospecting. Once you get, I'm just gonna wrap it, so I'm tying them forward. I'm gonna divide it in about half. Kind of figure eight through there. That's the first move, so you got your Y. And what you can also do is go around each, each wing. Try to do it slow here. And that gives you your point of reference and gives you your wing. Take that thread to the back of that hook. Now at this point, you can add, um, if you wanted to put some flash underneath or on the top or off to the side or even straight forward. There's really no rules. When I'm giving you this pattern here, it's gonna be just something for you guys to play with, for you guys to tie a better than something that you might find in a store. Angler advantage, one of the last great angler advantages that you can have is tying your own fly. It is absolutely a foundation of fishing. All things being equal, a better fly will win every time. We're going to take some moose mane, just a couple strands. Now, I'm not going to tell you the exact number of strands, whatever you think. 16, 10. 
eyeball it. And you want to extend a good ways back because that's going to be your support. Moose is pretty stiff. Just send it to the army. And once you get your tail done, you're going to want to move that thread up to the front here. And we're going to tie, show you here in a second, we're going to take a good clump of deer hair. About about half of a pencil. So what we'll do here is I'm gonna make it a little extended body on this fly. If you don't want the extended body, you just bring it forward. But either way, you can do, you can do what, whatever pattern you want here. You want a little extended, I'm gonna put a little extended body on it because I like the way it sits in the film a little better. Now you could also, at this point, you can add a feather back here if you wanted to. You can palmer a feather through if you wanted higher support. If you want it to lace flatter in the film, you can omit that step. I'll do the next one. Maybe I'll put a feather in the next one. But what you do is you get it first, tying it back, and then wrap it. And I'll do two or three in the, in the very back here. So it snugs it down and then kind of pinch it carefully and wrap along that shaft. When you get to the very end and kind of make them in increments, I'll try to slow down for you. When you get it to the very tip, you do a couple wraps. And then go wrap kind of incrementally down the shaft there. So you'll see there you got, you got your extended body. Pretty simple. You kind of space them out fairly evenly that direction. Very easy way to do an extended body without any kind of gallows tools or any of that other stuff. I'm gonna take a couple of just Cree or Grizzly or brown in a Grizzly or a white you, want, you can tie them all white too, that's a good trick. It only works once though. The first guy who runs all white one gets them and then the next time the guy runs more white they won't, they won't eat it. So I put two back there. <laughs> they get flies to the white pretty quick. So make sure you get a good uh, couple wrap in there. I'm gonna advance my thread to the forward part. And this will be a nice low riding pattern here. Space out the first feather. A couple wraps when you get to the front. Just make sure it's somewhat even. You'll notice that sometimes I go this way, sometimes I go that way. I just go by the curvature of the feather. Whatever the feather tells you to wrap, that's what I'm doing. And sometimes I'll take one feather that's a little longer than the other so that it'll, the, the internal feather, the shorter one, will actually provide a little bit of extra tension on the water and the bigger one will provide the stiffer support. For the...
basic hex right there on a hook that'll actually pull with OX tippet. Like I said, if you had a, if you wanted it to real support, you could put another feather back here and palmer it around so you have that that first. I'll do the I'll do the next one like that. But you can change the way you fish without, you know, very easily by just adding or subtracting a feather or two. A lot of times I'll cut a wing off. You got a cripple. It's pretty simple. But that's going to sit real good in the film. Basic scorpion hex right there. Cripple style. <laughs> 